In this video, I want to show you how to build a CRUD application in minutes, step by step. Hi, I'm Kevin from BuddyBase, a low code platform that is allowing IT teams to save thousands of hours as they build internal tools for their teams. Let's have a look at the application we're going to build and then build it together. I have this book application. I can create new books. I can read current books. I can update them. I have this books come back again, so I'll set that to available and not borrow by anyone. I can see overall what's going on. I can delete books by clicking and pressing delete. I get to get this confirmation modal that makes sure, are you sure you want to delete this book? I also have my data that's paginated with a default of eight records per page. And I can search. So if I want to find structure, um, interpretation of CUDA programs, then I can get that book. That's been loaned out, so I know to could get it back again. All of our applications are designed to work and to look good on mobile. You can see these records, we can click between them, and we can move those in. So let's dive in and see how to build that now. All BuddyBase building starts in the portal. The portal allows you to manage your applications. There's two in this instance. You might end up having tens of applications that you are managing and using for different parts of your organization. We can globally manage users, handle user onboarding with an email workflow, and sign in using SSO with Google or um, any open ID platform. We have a variety of plugins, settings, the account settings are here, and you can update the theme of your back end of this portal if you'd like it to be brighter or darker, depending. I quite like Nord, so I'm gonna leave it on there. But we're building an application, so let's see how we do that. Back on the Apps tab, we click on Create New App, and we're presented with a whole load of templates that have been prepared to be able to build applications in BuddyBase. But we're going to start from scratch. So I'll click the start from scratch button and I will call it books. The first thing we'll want to do when we're building any BuddyBase application is to get our data into the app. If you already have data in another place, be that a relational database, a non-relational database, an API or Google Sheets or Airtable, you can plug those in and allow that data to be displayed within your BuddyBase application. Alternatively, you can create a new table inside of BuddyBase. And that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to create a table called Books and press Create. I'm going to add some fields. So I'll use this little plus icon. And I want the title, which is going to be a text field. And I also want this to be the display column. So I'll hit the three dots and say Use this display column. And it's going to appear at the start here. I also have Author. Next thing I want is Status. And for status, I want a list of options. I only want one option, so I'm not going to choose multi-select, so just option. And I'm going to have available, loaned, reserved, or removed. And I'll save that column. Finally, I want to know who has borrowed the book. So I'll press the plus again, and I'll say borrowed by. That's going to be a relationship. It's a relationship with my users table, and it's this relationship. One user has many book rows, so I'll save that. And I have now a borrowed by column in here. If I go to my users table, I also now have a books column over here. So both of those, that relationship is maintained in both directions. We have our data sorted. We can now go to our design tab where we actually build the front end. Click on design and we can, we got started here. BuddyBase allows us to build single page applications made up of multiple screens. So we have these screens, which we can add to. Each screen is made up of components. And then we've got themes, which we can change for the application rather than just our BuddyBase backend. So we can change that to Nord or Midnight or Light, depending what you prefer. And we have the ability to add, change this navigation. So we can add that logo or remove it. We now have the title or remove it. We can send set these colors and configure the links that are on the top there. Let's add a screen for our books. So I go to screens and click add screen and I've got two options. I've got a blank screen and a list of view. I'm gonna select list view and click continue. And then ask which of the tables do I want to use to generate my screen. So I'm gonna select books and confirm. 
At this point, I can decide on the level of access that I want our users to have in order to be able to see this screen. At basic, our users have to be logged in, so it's not public. Public is anyone can access this. There's no authentication required at all. Basic, they have to be logged in. Power and admin are both elevated roles that we can use to separate out who can see what within our application. For now, I'll leave this in basic and click done. Now that's done a few things. It's added a link to our navigation. It's created the screen. And if we click on components, we can see that the screen is made up of just a single component, this tables block. BuddyBase has several blocks that you can use that quickly allow you to build intuitive UIs for our users. This table block is super helpful. You tell it what data we want to use. You can configure the columns. You don't have to show all the columns, but there are a few things we want to do. We want to click this show delete button to make sure that we can delete our records. And then inside this search fields, I'm going to click on title to make it that title search field. We can change the pagination limit here. And there are other ways we can style this. We can compact makes things slightly closer together. And we can add custom styles for margin, for our width, and even some any CSS you want to add into this screen. We preview this. We can see that we can press create row to add some books. So I wanted to add that clean code book by Robert Martin, which is going to be available. I can save that and it's available straight away. My table updates. I click on this record and I can update it again. So maybe I've removed it and save that update straight away. Or maybe I delete the record. I can press delete and it's gone. So with our application built, we can now publish it. We can invite our users in to be able to use it and make sure that you don't lose a book again to someone who you've lent it to and they've forgotten to give it back. BuddyBase is being used by thousands of teams around the world to help them be able to improve their internal tooling and to accelerate the processes that allow their business to be successful. If you want to learn more, you can find out more at our website or look at some more of the videos that we have available on our channel to see some of the other things that you can achieve with BuddyBase. I hope that this has inspired you and look forward to seeing you around the BuddyBase community. Thanks. Bye.